Dad, if I pressed unmute by accident last night, yesterday, and mute again. Okay, that is what it's called. That's car central heating. So car went to see Eiffel, oh. Eiffel today and said, have you seen Idris anywhere? Boop, boop. No, I haven't, said John Sistine. Ah, oh, we don't know where he is. I can't see him. I'm going to go and investigate, said Carl. Let's go, Ivor. Ivor's going down the line, owned by Mrs. Porte now. Jones and Steve's looking. Oh, Ivor, what are you doing? Brr, 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 said Ivor. What's happened? It's Igorous. What's happened, Igorous? Why are you there? Oh, we're called Mr. Jones, and there's four of us now. Get in my firebox and we'll find you a new home. So that's what they did. They went to visit people to see what they could do with the dragons. They went to the Antarctic, what is it called? A toy shop. A toy shop. Asking her what to do. She said, the I car can. car went home. She said, I can help. Oh, yeah. lovely dragons. I will help you build something for the dragons, she said. car? Car was looking for someone to help build some flames. So all the town got together and started to help build a pipe. The ash heap beside Ivor's shed, the dragons waited. Mrs Griffith was as good as her word. The great day came. Right, carry on. So Ivor, Ivor took all the passengers. The train with friends in the carriages and dragons in the firebox up the loop line to Smoke Hill. There stood. So there they had a ceremony for Igris and the other dragons when they opened up a new gas pipe. They couldn't light it, so Igris lit it for them, which was a new home for the dragons. Everybody started singing. The dragons were, were, were really happy with their new home. They could keep really, really warm. The end. Right, to be continued.